In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the Curve Curve tool, uh, which you can find in the intersection menu and in the uh, physical uh, menu here, up here. That's the intersect of the between two curves, two set of curves. And I will show you how you can use this to uh, make uh, such a parametric model with just a set of points. So you can see that I'm changing these points and the curves are reacting because I'm intersecting a set of curves and using this to produce a parametric uh, model so we can change and define uh, what we need here, okay? So uh, this is basically the video tutorial about the curve curve tool uh, in Grasshopper. Okay, to get started, I'm going to use a set of curves here and I'm going to go to the curve section and use the line STL tool and this will produce uh, a curve based on start, direction and length. So I'm going to set this to the 0, 0 by typing 0 and enter and I'm going to give this an x direction and a length based on our project. So, excuse me, that's going to be y because uh, I'm going to produce the curve here, the line here, and then array this line in the x direction. So, uh, we can change this uh, line, the, the line length, and then we're going to array this line by the array linear array tool. I'm going to give this to the geometry, the direction will be the x and it will go to something like 8.5 based on our project and then I'm going to give it a number for the count maybe 50 lines and we can just change this okay so what I'm going to do here is to define two set of lines uh, to move and change the location of the intersection. So I'm going to intersect uh, the two uh, blue lines with these lines and when we find the intersection I'm going to move this intersection in the z direction and then we can connect the uh, start of the line to this point and to the next point which we moved and then come down to the end and that will produce uh, the lines that you saw in the model. So I'm going to give two set of lines here. Mm, we can make this in Grasshopper too. So I'm going to uh, go to the point, set multiple points here, and then I'm going to give this to another set of points. And let's go to the curve and to the spline and use the polyline tool we can connect these uh, points and these two set of points and now we can intersect the polylines with these uh, linear array of lights so I'm going to go to the intersect section and choose the curve curve tool first we can intersect the uh, linear array lines with the first curve and have the points remember you have to have a bigger line here because uh, if we just move this to a shorter place, we will not have intersections here and we will have problems with the numbers of points. So uh, next I'm going to give another curve curve, but this time for the next polyline. And now we need the first and the last of the, uh, the start and the end of the lines. So I'm going to go to the curve section and use the end points to extract the start and the end. So here we go, we have start end, we have two set of points here and I'm going to move these points in the z direction. So let me just give this to another point and here we go. I'm going to move this in the z direction and give it a number. Okay. and another move here I'm going to give to the 
next intersection let's just move this here and delete this this will be for the next one okay and we don't need these set of points so i'm going to turn them off and now we have the points and just let's let me um, arrange them here so we have the start the next is here and the next and the last will be the end point so we need to connect these uh, four by four so how can you do this because if you go to the curve section and choose the polyline tool and connect these points to the vertices you can see that we will not have the results and that is because we have to uh, arrange these points into groups of four. So this will be the first point, the second, the third, and the last. And again, something maybe like here, first, second, third, and the last. So we can connect those easily. How, we, how can you do this is easily done by the graph tool. Uh, I'm going to put a point tool here and you can see that these points are in groups and that is because the uh, display and the full the fancy wires you see here uh, the uh, if you put your mouse here you can see that uh, the groups are here okay so what I'm going to do is to right click on this group and make it in a group output so it's going to be something like this you can see each one will go to a group this one too and this one okay we don't need graph for these two because they are already in groups so we just graph the points that are that are not in groups and if I give this to one group of points by holding down the shift key you will see that we will have group of four so let me show you here by going to the display section going to the point list and baking this point list you can see that we have 0 1 2 3 or something like this zero one two three and that's okay so uh, the technique is to have all the groups into the all the outputs in groups and uh, join them in one uh, tool so another problem will be sometimes we go for offset or something like this to be sure we don't uh, go into a problem any problems with, about the groups I'm going to right click and simplify the output so this will be a good uh, exercise to always graph the outputs, simplify the outputs, so we will have groups in four and we will easily have uh, 50, uh, basically 50 polylines in four points connecting to each other. So I'm going to have a polyline here and connect those and just turn everything off. And here we go. We can just turn the polylines on so we can see what we are doing and if I change the location of those points you can see that I'm changing the model so this is easily done by changing the curve if you go out of this you can see that it will drop down because it doesn't have any intersection so you can do this easily by changing the points changing the line and you can also change the height of these points and here we go okay let me just make this a better one and now we can extrude these lines or the polylines uh, we can go and have an extrude in the x direction and give it maybe a number 2.2 .2 and that's it so this example was just a simple one uh, how to extrude and affect a set of lines by using the intersection of curve curve tool and you can see that I have modeled this easily you can go to Rhino and use the offset surface tool and okay you can go outwards by choosing the solid yes okay you have to choose the solid yes here let me just check this out okay you can see if you offset outwards will you will have a 
radius here we will have uh, something called uh, basically uh, uh, something that is a fillet that's a fillet one okay so you can see if you offset uh, the surface outwards you will have the fillet the filleted corners here and if you uh, uh, offset the surface inwards okay I'm going to offset this surface in a flip one and going inside we'll have straight sections and there will be no problem so remember if you offset outwards you will have uh, the radius out uh, you have the fillet on the corners and if you uh, offset inwards you will have the straight section and you can easily give a surface here okay and we can uh, also go into the options choose Sun and turn on the Sun so you can see that you can have a manual control and you can see how the shadows change and we can also go and change the time and see the results so this is basically a simple tutorial I will also talk about this technique in the grasshopper uh, uh, tutorials in uh, in the website we have a extensive course on this I have grasshopper course which will uh, I will explain all of these sections in step by step but for a simple tutorial you can see how we can use simple geometry inputs to produce complicated uh, models and how we can change this model and produce the results thank you for watching if you have any questions about this uh, curve curve tool or if you have um, any suggestions about the video tutorials feel free to ask them in the YouTube channel and uh, I will try to record them in a separate video. Thank you.